I'm welcoming you in Smart Bird Talks, where we are discussing exciting and trending topics with software testing experts. And today we will talk about API testing and UI testing, discuss the pros and cons of using them together, come up with the scenarios of when the one type works better than the other, and a well-known test automation trainer and consultant, Buzz Dexter, will help us today with this. Hi, Buzz. How are you? Good morning, Tanya. Thank you so much for having me on this talk. I'm doing great. Looking forward to the interview. Uh, th first of all, thanks for joining us today. And before we dive into API testing and UI testing, could you please share your background with the Smart Bay community members? Sure. Um, as you said, I'm Bas Dijkstra. I'm a test automation trainer and consultant from the Netherlands. I've been in the test automation space for close to 15 years now. Um, first as a salaried employee for eight years and for the last well, five, six years now, I've been a freelancer uh, for the first 10 years or so, I've done mostly consulting with various uh, larger organizations through uh, all kinds of different sectors in the Netherlands. And the last couple of years, I'm focusing more and more on doing test automation training, uh, so technical training courses on various topics related to test automation. Huge experience. Uh, I'm so excited. So uh, API testing and UI testing, two, uh, two of the most important parts of testing nowadays. Uh, so, And I see that uh, more and more people, they start using both of these testing together. Uh, what do you think about this approach? Is it worth it? Oh, yeah, definitely, because um, there's no one right way of doing testing to me. And uh, there are situations in which one approach it just works better than the other one. And uh, as I'm sure we'll explore later on in this interview as well, they can definitely enhance each other as well. So uh, there's a place for both and the most in even... Uh, yeah, you said that, that both of these skills are really, really important for a tester nowadays, but uh, to me it's even much, even more important to be able to uh, decide and tell when which approach will work better than the other. Uh, and what, 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 should be, what should go first, API testing or UI testing, or is it impossible to separate this? Oh, they're no, no, they're not impossible to separate. But um, and I'm, I, I hate having to pull the the consultant answer card so early on in the interview. But it really depends. So it all depends on what it is exactly that you're going to be testing. If you are going to test some backend business logic that's exposed through an API to a front end then it doesn't make sense to include that from that in the actual test because it'll only make your tests uh, more cumbersome to maintain and slower to execute because the actual business logic that you're testing is exposed through the API. So why not use the API to test that? But if, it's, uh, if you're simulating an end user experience and you want to make sure that an end user can uh, perform a sequence of actions mm -hmm. through a interface and by uh, interacting with a user interface uh, perform some actions on the back end then you'll need to uh, then you'll need to include the user interface in your testing mm -hmm. because that's an important part of the behavior of the application that you're testing at the moment one of the main challenges uh, that's for me uh, so API testing, it can test uh, a service, right? But after that, this service uh, will be integrated uh, into the application. In API testing, you can test and you can make sure that your service will uh, get, uh, will process uh, all possible requests and send a corresponding 
and send corresponding responses. But once you integrated this service into the application, how can you make sure that this service will work fine inside the application? So I, I have a very good question. Um, again, that really uh, depends on what it is that you want to test. If uh, you want to make sure that the the API can take all different kinds of uh, can can uh, can process all of the different kinds of inputs that an end user can uh, send it uh, send to the API via the user interface. Then you don't necessarily need the user interface to do it because you can simulate the end uh, the input that's coming through the user interface mm -hmm. and serve it to the API directly. But if you want to make sure that the responses that are coming back from the API that are sent back from the API provider to the user interface layer, then you might want to build a test that combines the two. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you really want to make sure that uh, 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 the response from an API is processed correctly in the front end, then you might want to build an integration test that combines both layers. Or maybe even uh, make it, uh, and that depends a little on the architecture of the application that you're testing, maybe mock the API away altogether and just simulate its behavior and see, uh, given that I, uh, I expect the API to behave like this, so this is a, a typical response that I expect from the API. Just put that in as a mock in your front-end tests and because that makes your front-end testing a whole lot easier and faster to execute. So uh, what, I see, I, what, I see a, what I see a lot of teams and organizations doing nowadays is by default combining everything and seeing how everything works together as a whole. Mm -hmm. And there are definitely, you should definitely do that to some extent because it's important to make sure that all the layers and all the moving parts are working together nicely. But I see a whole lot of teams and organizations overdoing that because there are so, for a lot of the test cases and a lot of the situations that they're trying to verify, there are a lot more efficient ways of doing that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you should typically just have a really small part of your automated, of, or, sorry, of your automated tests combine those two layers. And if you're either verifying whether the UI can process typical responses from an API, you don't necessarily need the API itself to do that. Um, and the other way around goes as well. If you want to make sure that the API can process the inputs that uh, are passed on through the user interface. You don't necessarily need the user interface to do that as well. So you can do, a, often you can do a whole lot more with, uh, on the individual layers than you think, and that makes your testing and your information much more efficient. Thanks a lot. That was uh, very useful um, and interesting. Yeah. Is there anything that you would like to add and uh, our API and UI world uh, should be uh, aware about? Um, don't be scared of APIs. So uh, I, see, <laughs> I see many uh, uh, Testers that are uh, making their 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 first steps in the uh, or, let's say more technical side of testing or the test automation world uh, approach the uh, the application that they're testing just like they do uh, when they were testing it and. In the, and, and by default, a lot of people are still interacting with the application and test just like an end user would, so often through a user interface. And that's good. That's a good starting point. But uh, just be aware that uh, for a lot of uh, automated tests that you're going to write, there are more efficient ways than that. And one thing I always do is, is 
talk with your fellow testers, talk with developers, talk with architects, and get a good overview of what your application architecture actually looks like, what layers uh, there are, and in what layer and what layer you definitely need and what layer you don't necessarily need to verify the business logic or the behavior that you mm -hmm. want to test in your app. And then try and find a way to build the most efficient test automation for that uh, by using mocks or service virtualization or by leveraging API testing if you don't necessarily need the user interface. So and don't be and don't be scared to explore and learn new things about uh, what your application actually looks like, what the different layers are, how the, uh, at what scenes those layers uh, interact with one another. Okay, so the, uh, do, do not be scared and do API. <laughs> oh no, definitely don't be scared of APIs. And also, just because you're testing something in the user phase, in the user interface doesn't mean you need all the layers that are below that. So there's a whole lot more that you can do just on the user interface level. And if you don't, have, and, and that don't necessarily require an end-to-end -end test. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for the information. That was very interesting to learn uh, more about API and how it, work, it, it can work with UI uh, testing. Um, community, if you have any questions, just post your comments and we will be happy to uh, continue our conversation online in the community. Okay, thanks, Baz, for your time. Thanks for the interview. And thank you so much for having me, Tanya. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.